Welcome back to the Intro to Matinee. In this video, we are going to talk about event tracks, which are a very special kind of track available from within matinee sequences that allow you to fire off other kismet actions. It allows you to use a matinee sequence as if it were an event spawner, if you will. So let's start off by jumping straight into kismet. And as soon as that appears, we're going to go into our door sequence. And what I want to do is fairly simple. It's going to be used more or less as a proof of concept. But uh, it's going to hopefully open your mind up to a lot of different possibilities that you could use with firing off events inside of Matinee. All I'm going to do is log out the information to the user that the door is open versus the door being closed. So let's start off by opening up Matinee. And now I want to confirm that I have nothing in the scene selected, so I'm going to go to edit and select none because I'm about to create a new group and I don't want anything to be attached to it. Let's turn off the curve editor. I'm going to right click here at the bottom of my list and we'll create a new empty group which I will call events. There we go. Now to this group I'm going to add an events track. So let's right click and we see it right here, new event track. Boom, there we go. Now this is really easy how this works. You're going to be kind of surprised. At the very beginning of our sequence, I'm going to press the enter key to add a key. And when we add a key, it asks for the name of an event. And we'll call this door closed. Now why am I starting with door closed? Because at this point in the animation, our door happens to be closed. That's how it works. Now I could, and go ahead, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that we can see all of our sequence. I could take my time slider and drag it right to the end and say door open. I guess I could go ahead and demonstrate that just to show you what it's going to do. Let's go ahead and press enter, and we'll do door... Oh, let me capitalize it, because I'm picky. Door I'm so open. open, thank you. <laughs> I, I know the difference, really. I know how opposites work. So there we go. We have two events, one at the beginning and one at the end of this track. Now... This is going to sort of work. It's not going to give us exactly what we want. But if we close out of Matinee and take a look back in Kismet, we have two new events that have popped up. We have door closed and door open. And we can key off other actions uh, from these connections, which is very handy. So let's start off by going to new action, miscellaneous. And I'll bring in a log. Let's right click and we'll expose a variable, which I'll expose a string. Let's connect door closed to the input. We'll right click and create a new string from the string output. And we will name this, as the uh, event suggests, uh, the, we'll, we'll actually type out a message. The door is open! Exclamation point. Now that's on the door. I closed. know. I was seeing if anybody was paying attention. I'm right there with you. I, I, I promise that was on purpose, really. So okay. <laughs> uh, let's right-click, and I'm going to hide all unused connectors, so that becomes a very simple log. Let's grab this whole thing, Control-C, Control-V, and we'll connect this to door open, and I'll just change the name over here from door is closed to the door is open. And there we go. So now we have these two logs firing off. Now, let me show you where our problem is going to come in. Let's test everything out. I mean, and it's going to work, but it's going to work a little too good. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give us a, a lot Door more information closed. than we need. Door is open. Okay. Door is open. Door is closed. <laughs> Door is closed. Door is open. Open, closed. Open. It just it talks ah, too much. So much information. It's a little too chatty. Now, why is it doing that? Let me go ahead and give you a quick overview. If we pop over to Kismet and open up our matinee sequence again, when we play forward... The very first thing we do when we play is we fire off the door closed operation. So as soon as the door starts to open, we get door closed. Then as soon as the door gets all the way open, we say door is open. And we, you know, now that message pops up. As soon as we start to play back, it hits that, uh, that event again and tells us the door is open. And then as it gets uh, all the way closed, we hit that event again and we get the message a second time. Right, so we get two messages for each time we have this thing play, be it forwards or backwards. Exactly. So we're and you can see that, too, the forwards and backwards. Show them the forwards and backwards arrows right there. Yeah, you see, boom, playing forward and playing backwards. Yep. Now, we can fix this by putting our messages, our events, on separate event tracks and then forcing some tracks to only play when we're playing forward and others to play only when we're playing backward. So let's take a quick look at that. Now, I do have the ability to toggle that off right here and right here. So this controls whether uh, the event will pl I'm sorry, the event track will play when going forward, whether it will uh, play going backward or both. Now, if you really stop and think, this gives a lot of control here inside of Matinee by being able to control exactly 
only when you are going to fire off an event that you can use externally for driving other things. And you can control this not only where along in the time slider, but also if the event, or excuse me, if the matinee sequence is playing forwards or if it is playing in reverse. That's a lot of control. Oh, yeah, all sorts of cool stuff you could do with that. So what I'm going to do is take our door open uh, key, and I'm going to delete it. And uh, let's go ahead and add a new event track. So we'll right-click on our events group, new event track. Now, I'm going to, just on principle, I'm going to name this key a, uh, something new. Instead of just door open, we're going to call this door opened, and that has to do with the way sometimes Unreal stores names that you've already used. So just as a safety precaution, we'll use an entirely different name. Now, I want the uh, door closed to only play when we go backward. Because it's closing. That's right. Closing, closed. While we're opening, I only want this track to play forward. Very nice. Now, if you want to, you can confirm this over in the properties window. So you have uh, check boxes here as well. B fire events when playing forward and B fire events when playing backward. There are two different check boxes. If you don't want to use those very cool little yellow indicators for some reason, but I can't imagine why that would be because those are awesome. <laughs> okay, so with that, we can give this a quick test. So we'll close out of Kismet altogether and play Hang on one here. second. Before we go, let's jump back over into Kismet real quick. Oh, but I was so excited. I know Oh, yeah, you it's were. not going to work. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, but, see, that's what happens when you get excited. We need to take door open and plug it into something. Because, now. Yeah, yeah, we broke that event, which broke the connection, and nothing was plugged in. Right. All right. So now let's give this another shot. All right. So, boom. Door's open. Hey, hey. And we'll stay there. Now when we back away... We get nothing until the door is closed again. All right. So now we have much better control over the firing of this external event. That's right. Now, naturally, you normally wouldn't want to just log out no, and some information not. to the screen. There's all sorts of things you could do, though. You know, we could uh, have enemies come into the room when this door is open. We could have it fire remote events, which is actually something we're going to make use all of. All the possibilities are nearly endless. Oh, yeah. You could just go on and on and on with different things you could spawn from this. In fact, you could make this spawn... Uh, other matinee sequences right. to do other things. So really, the, the possibilities become endless. But that is going to wrap things up for this particular demonstration.